Exam. Oh, boy. You're going to do another song for us later, right? Yes, I'd love to. Okay. Good. Good. If you haven't seen my next guest on television, you're probably living under a rock. He's, a, he's an Australian rules football player who's invaded the U.S. with this commercial. Watch on your TVs at home, you at the monitor. What's the longest lasting battery you can buy? It's a pleasure to meet you too. It's great to be here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nice I letter. I forgot one thing. Oi! <laughs> now, what does oi mean? Oi means I. I'll, I'll explain it to you. If you see an American fella sees a lovely girl walking down the beach, they go, hey, come over here. In Australia. So that's like, yo? Yeah, in Australia. <laughs> in Australia, if we see a nice girl walking down the beach, we go, Oi, get over here! <laughs> and after she has a heart attack, how do you talk to her? Oh, <laughs> we don't talk much. We're men of action, Aussie men. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, how did the Energizer commercial come about? Well, I'll tell you, because I'm a little bit camera shy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I started off as a professional footballer for eight years, and then I had a few fights, uh, professional fights. What? Fight? Oh, oh fight. boxing. <laughs> boxing. <laughs> you know what I thought? Just never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. He said I said, that. I, I didn't say that. I had a few myself today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah, actually, your driver was telling me about it. Oh, there you go. Let's yeah. talk about a okay. driver. Okay, yeah, well, it all started to roll on. I, was, I became a personality through football, and I had me pre professional fights, and I brought out rock videos when I got to the top. But that's not all. I've written a book. Mm -hmm. I've done current affairs reporting. Mm -hmm. I've been a professional surfer. Mm -hmm. I've been to the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Come on, humor me. Might have a weapon. Come on. Yeah. So <laughs> no, it's it, all, it all sort of got on a roll like any uh, footballer, professional footballer these days uh, in America. And then he takes up options from companies that, uh, that got thrown up to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I took on the Energizer battery because it matched my personality. Mm -hmm. Explosive, mm -hmm. powerful, mm -hmm. machine-like. Well. And there I was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, we started doing that one night when Matuzak was here, you know, because the football players knocked somebody out, you, 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 you know, or something yeah. like that. Or you get a foul on you, you, you. If we went to the stadium and still, oi, 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 we would be uh, immediately ejected. Well, well, looking at your professional footballers compared to Australian rules footballers, mm -hmm. uh -oh. we don't wear padding in our game. In fact, if we wear a band-aid, we're called a sissy. And seeing your football and seeing all the pillows they put in there, mm -hmm. jumpers, and you could drop them out of an aeroplane at 30,000 feet, and they wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> okay. But of course, it's, <laughs> it's horses for courses. It's horses for courses. That's what I mean by that. There's horses for racetracks, and it's what you get bored up into. You know, I got bored up with on Australian rules. Uh, Dad, I remember getting sold by my father to my first. Uh, National League side, he got uh, a six-pack of beer for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Dad was really happy about that. And, uh, of course, I went and played professional football, and that's where it got the roll on. But it's a lot different game mm -hmm. down there. Let, let me ask you a question. Um, I was told earlier today that when you first came to America, you had an impression of Americans, and you were surprised that it wasn't like that. Well, yeah. I, well, 
my first impersonation was down in the New York impression of uh, America was down in the New York subway. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I was down in the subway and uh, I was riding the subway. Fifteen blokes come up to me. Mm -hmm. It's probably a singing group or something. No, well, I thought it was because they all had funny coloured hair and they mm -hmm. all looked as if they just had a blood transfusion. <laughs> and they sold me this Rolex watch for five bucks. I couldn't believe it. Five bucks. <laughs> And, gee, they were nice blokes. They were really nice fellas, you know. And they said, if it stops, you just come back. We'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> Did they ask for your SAT scores, too, while they were <laughs> <laughs> So you, you, heard it, you heard it was pretty tough here? Yeah, I heard it was pretty tough. Uh, we got movies down there from America, like Escape from New York. Oh, yeah. 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 And, yeah. of course, that was a sensation in relation to every TV station. And, of course, that went right across the nation. And everybody watched that, and that's, that's what they thought of New York. You get off the plane and someone hits you over the head with a bat, uh, bat and pinches your bag. But, uh, no one Pin wait, wait, wait. Pinches no your bag? Pinches your bag, knocks it off, you know. Grabs it and runs away. Oh. Yeah, see, a, see, these are cool terms, though. Hey! Look. Oi, baby, I'm going to pinch your bag if you don't see <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I got to cop that one on the chin. <laughs> no, no, wait, what does that mean? It means I'm not telling you. Oh. <laughs> now, you, you have a beautiful smile. Some, somebody said today when they called you to make sure you were... Oh, this uh, girl. Oh, oh. Yeah, you had... Yeah, hang on a minute. Don't go away. I'm with you. Now, look over there. Look over there. Okay. Beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, that's attractive. Beautiful chrome teeth. Yeah, they told me, they said he has three pair of teeth he carries everywhere yeah, he goes. Yeah, could you hold these for me? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it to it. Wait, did you tell me you met him someplace? Yeah, I met him in New York with Bloomingdale's, and you thought I was Diana Ross. Oh. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you were Max Headroom, huh? <laughs> with Mac Hedger and Diana Ross. Actually perform for us one more time, Anita Pointer with more than a memory. Woo. I'm sitting with Terry Copley, Jacko, and Anita Pointer. Mm. You, did you bring a clip? you have a clip? Because everybody had a clip. No, that's my video, no. Tom, Tom, do you have a clip for her? <laughs> Just give her a clip. <laughs> Any clip. <laughs> give her one of mine. That's your clip. Oh, I love it, I love it. That's your clip. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Sophisticated comedy, huh, Jacko? Oh, yeah. Real good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Jacko. Oh, so May I say, you're that cool, you roll on, must roll off. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. My roll-on must wait, wait, wait. roll off. You gotta come slower. This, you know. oh, roll the roll on. on. Oh, the roll, roll on. on. Roll, roh, okay, now yeah. I get you. Okay. Jacko, you That's the only have... joke I had. <laughs> you should carry that girl from Children of a Lesser God around with you so she can kind of explain when you talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I do a pretty good job. Pretty yes, you do. You you just do. Thanks very much. I just wanted a compliment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get the sweater, man? Where'd you get that sweater? That is too cool. Uh, that well, cool? I needed this, and I thought I did a pretty good job you of it, did. too. You did that yourself? Yeah, well, here. being the toughest footballer in the world, I'm the only one that could probably wear this on his body and get away with it. <laughs> you know what I mean about yeah. being tough? Yeah. yeah. Come to think of it, I don't think you would. <laughs> Are you married? No, nah, not married. I'm just a swing and single. Oh. Swing and single, ladies and gentlemen. The Energizer Man, Energizing America, and I'm bound to find a lovely looking Sheila here. Now, Sheila, is that a terminology for women? Yeah, Sheila for a woman, a lady. Oh, that's what I'm... we call them down under. So we anybody, her name could be They're Selma, but you call her Sheila. Right? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Makes it nice and easy. You don't get mixed up and you don't get caught out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, nice man. Being here. You're a sport. Thanks very much. Anita Pointer. Oh, I love you. Thank you very much for being here. Her new album. Yes. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> yes.
Terry Copley. Your show will be back on NBC what time? We're on 7.30 on Friday nights. But tomorrow night we're on at 8.30, but it's only one time and it's only in L.A. Everywhere else is 7.30. You got that? Yeah. Where you going, son? Where you going, Matt? Where you going, Matt? Thank you for being here. Thank you all, especially in Washington. God bless you. Mark Hudson taking us home.